excavated right up against the footing here to make the crawl space. And then we come across here. Here's one pier, but it looks like the other piers were removed to make room for that HVAC back there. And this one here, look at the top of that. It's not really doing anything. Well, it's actually crushing the brick. It's crushing the brick. And then I don't really want to trust this beam so much. Okay, and then we come around here, and again, we're right up against the foundation, so we're up about five foot, and I need to get a measurement across this house. So basically, we are being supported, the joists are supporting us at that beam right here. What's happening is the joists going across left to right are supporting the entire house and it's kind of hinging on that beam which is causing all that movement above okay it's pretty simple to fix though and this thing here is going to have to come out it's not doing anything anyway it's abandoned look at that they just abandon it in place this HVAC unit. That's the old one, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's got to come out because you're going to need to put something. We're going to have to replace posts under this beam here. See, they took all the posts out from the beam going all the way down the end. Okay. So we're going to have to take this thing out and put new posts in. Actually, I think there's a pier right on the other side. There is? Oh, okay. It looks like there's brick. See? Let's there's take a look. I hope there is. Right there. Is there? Okay. Yeah, see, I think there's one right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right on the other side. Can't see it with the camera. But it looks like, I'm willing to bet they took one out in the midpoint. We probably, we should resupport around the midpoint here. Okay. Just, because we don't have much strength left in these beams anyway. After all the termite damage. So you got some pretty good termite damage up in here. You can see the termite marks. Oh, you know, here's that same stuff we saw up above. That sawdust-like stuff. I wonder if that is the termites doing that. I've never seen them push up. I haven't seen that either. We can see termite damage through here. Could that be carpenter ants or something like that that's doing that? That's possible. Yeah. And there's some trails from the termites. And you can see trails from the termites inside here. All right, I'm on the I'm on the floor above the crawl space right now, and this is the area here where all those posts were removed. You can see the floor has settled down here. This is the real indicator here visually. This humongous crack over the corner, and it doesn't show up in the camera, but this floor has really gone down. They covered the gap when the floors deflected by replacing uh, that quarter round molding at the bottom of the base molding. And that was put in at a later time than the base molding was put in. And that's to cover the gap that appeared. And uh, let's see what else we have here. This is all deflected down. And this is something I haven't seen before which I'm talking about in the video in the basement too. This looks like dirt, but when we pushed it away from the floor, you can see these little holes that it came up in. So I suspect some sort of insect is doing it. It's all over the place here. Might be carpenter ants. Hadn't seen termites do that before. And we come around here and we're into a more stable part of the house at this point in time. The damage here, so you can see where we've got a gap that is appearing under the molding here. Let me get my flashlight out and see if I can highlight that a bit better. There you go. See that, see that gap? That's from the floor deflecting here. And you see over here, 
we have no gap but then we get a gap that appears here. That's always an indicator of some sort of floor settlement.